a few days ago, Anthropic released integrations, which is essentially first party MCP servers. Another way of saying that is remote MCP servers, which means that unlike up to until now, where you had to install and run these MCP servers on your computer, you could connect to a URL and run those servers remotely. And they named a bunch of companies that already are using this, Atlassian, Zapier, Cloudflare, Intercom, Asana, Square, Sentry, etc. In the announcement, they also mentioned here that you can build your own remote MCP server using Cloudflare. So what's really cool about this is you're able to build and deploy remote MCP servers really quickly. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. And the use case for me right now is that I wanna be able to connect various MCB servers to my N8N instance that only supports SSC. So I'm gonna take an MCB server that I use all the time and put it onto N8N using Cloudflare. So this isn't really a tutorial, I'm just gonna show you how I do it really quickly. There's a lot of great documentation here, so we're just gonna to go to Cloudflare, and they have this article that came out almost a little over a week ago, talking about all the tools they made available for creating remote MCB servers, workers OAuth provider, MCB agent, MCB remote, an AI playground where you can test your remote MCB servers. So there's a lot of good stuff here. The current way it works right now is you have a client like Claude or Cursor that connects to an MCB server that can then connect to an API endpoint, or third-party API, or resources, or tools, etc. But again, you have to be able to configure the MCB server on your computer. But now with Cloudflare, basically what happens is Cloudflare is able to host MCB server, which could then talk to an API endpoint or third-party API or resources, whatever. But then it can talk to the browser or mobile app. But anyways, we're just gonna show, we're just gonna build this really quickly to make sequential thinking work on NADN. And I don't really do videos on NADN, but I just wanna show you pretty much the way it works is if you add an AI agent, you're able to add tools and there's this MCP client tool. But if you click on it, it only works with an SSE endpoint. So the idea here is we're gonna build sequential thinking with Cloudflare and then expose it to this endpoint. So it's so easy. So the first thing we're gonna do is press this button, deploy to Cloudflare. If you don't have a Cloudflare account, it's free to sign up and you can do this whole thing free. You also connect your GitHub account. So as you see here on Cloudflare, basically it creates an application within your GitHub. I already connected my GitHub here. So we're gonna make it a private repository. I'm just gonna do this as quick as possible. We're gonna press create and deploy. And we're doing this one auth list. You can do this with authentication and authorization. It's a bit of a different setup. And you could of course add auth later. So as you see here, now it's building and deploying. And pretty much what's gonna happen is can create a new repository in my GitHub, which then I can clone with cursor and just edit it. And here we see it in GitHub and we see it's just boilerplate. It explains everything here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna copy this for cloning. I open up cursor, clone repo. I'm just gonna paste it in here. Okay, so now we're in cursor in our boilerplate MCP server. And if we click into here into the source, we look at the index, it's a basic calculator tool. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add it to our mcp.json. Okay, so let's go to readme and see what it says to do. So we're just gonna take this and paste it in to our mcp.json, paste it in there. Let's remove this text, which we don't need. And the reason we're doing this is just to see that it works. Install dependencies. Okay, great. So now we see that our calculator tool is running. Let's just try it out. What's well, 25 plus 32 divided by 6? Use the calculator tool. Okay, we had a slight error. Let's try that again. Try that again. Okay, great. We see the calculator tool is running. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to download a lot of documentation. Then I'm going to clone all these MCB servers for reference. So then we can take, for example, sequential thinking and host it remotely so we can use it in any event. So what I did here is I added a documentation directory where I have a lot of different documentation that I downloaded. The standard building MCP with LLMs, Cloudflare MCP, Cloudflare OAuth workers, Cloudflare workers, MCP TypeScript SDK, remote MCP. I also added this MCP upstreams, which is pretty much all the reference servers. So if we go into here, source, we go down to sequential thinking. And what we want to do is take the index.ts. So basically we're gonna tell cursor to take the sequential thinking MCB server, the tools of it, and use it in our own MCB server that uses SSC. So the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm just gonna drag sequential thinking over here, close this up, and then I'm gonna take our index.ts. This is from our boilerplate and put it here as well. I'm just gonna dictate to cursor. Okay, I want to take our boilerplate calculator tool in our index.ts and I want to replace those tools with the sequential thinking tools that I tagged. And basically, I want to replicate the sequential thinking MCP server with our own MCP server. And the difference being that the official sequential thinking MCP server is hosted locally with SCDIO. And I wanted to support 
SSC, which we already have working in our boilerplate server. So make sure you copy the functionality, but don't take anything else like the original transport. Once it's done, we will deploy it with Wrangler. Okay, let's just give it a go. Okay, so while this is working, I just wanna point out that there's so much more you can do with this. I think sequential thinking is a really easy one because it's basically just prompts, but you can do this with things like Brave Search, with other API-based ones. Obviously, you could build your own MCP servers with this. There's so much you can do here. You get add authentication, authorization, so many different things. I just wanna show you how fast this is and I'll drop a link to all the documentation I downloaded as well. Okay, great, it's done. So what I'm gonna do now is let's just open up NAN and see if it works. And it gave us a URL here, but I'm not gonna share it with you because I don't want you to spam me. And in general, I would test this within cursor, but I wanna make this video as fast as possible and I'm hoping it's gonna work. Okay, so this is a basic NAN workflow. You could do so much more with this. I just wanna see that it works. Now, I connected, uh, I think, 40 mini here and let's just add a tool so let's add the mcp client tool i'm going to blur out the sse endpoint and we don't need authentication so instead of doing tools include let's do selected and then you click here and here we have sequential thinking awesome so now we know that it deployed and cloudflare did all the work it's really really cool so let's go back here and open the chat and say hey what's up okay so first it's just calling our regular ai agent and the system prompt is your dreadful assistant always screen back to the user so Nothing's up. Why do you ask? What do you want? Let's just ask it. Can you use sequential thinking to help me figure out how to heal a broken hand? Okay, so it worked. It looks like it didn't work because you see these errors here, but that just has to do with error handling. I just want to show you. It's a little bit different than Cloud Desktop. Here's the prompt. Can you use sequential thinking to help me figure out how to heal a broken hand? Then it calls the MCP client. And we can see here, just like our good old sequential thinking, here's a thought. It says the thought number, the total thoughts, then it goes back to the chat model, then it goes back to the MCP client, which is the second thought. So pretty much it goes through all the thoughts. The error is just, has to do with error handling. I have to improve it, but the point is, is that it's working. Keep going down, Let's see, the final thought number is thought number six, and then we get an answer. Doesn't matter what the answer is, but the bottom line is that it worked. Now, some things I wanna point out is that Cloudflare's free plan works for this use case. You are limited with the number of calls per day. I do notice that this keeps hitting Cloudflare via WebSockets, even when I'm not using it. So I still wanna see how fast we hit that quota. Also, Cloudflare is stateless, and it's not really an issue here, but that is something to keep in mind. There's obviously more steps to do when you wanna add authentication or authorization, but the bottom line is it's really easy now via Cloudflare to build remote MCV servers that you can connect to anything for free even. And I imagine more companies will do this to release MCV servers. And this saves us the need for installing this on our computer locally. This video was sponsored by Aquavoice. That's why I used to dictate to my computer. It's been very useful with my current situation. I'll drop a link to Aquavoice in the description below. So that was it. just a quick introduction how to use Cloudflare to deploy remote MCV servers or integrations. Hoping this will soon come to Cloud Mobile or maybe even finally ChatGPT, who knows. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me grow. Thank you for watching and have a great day.